Now where is it we're headed to down here? We're going up here just before you go across the county line. It's Leroy Schultz's old place. In Cock County, Tennessee, hoping to distill alcohol from 700 gallons of light beer. Damn, this is slow go, ain't it, guys? Oh, I reckon. Amanda, Kelly, and Digger need to locate a stainless steel pot built two decades ago by moonshine legend Popcorn Sutton. When was the last time you uh, saw this still? He's, he's been dead several years now, and it's been several birthdays since I've been over there. Well, you know, back in the day of 30, 35 years ago, Popcorn ran across a stainless steel tank. It came out of a soft drink bottling company, and he thought that'd make a fine pot, and yeah, it did. And the reason we got to have that stainless steel pot is the oil that comes out of the hops when they're steeped in the beer, it'll cake up on the side of copper horribly, and it takes an act of Congress to get it off. It pretty much ruins the steel, so we got to have a stainless steel pot. Yeah, I hope that his nephew still got it. Is that him right there? I believe it is. I'll keep his attention. Y'all loaded up the truck. <laughs> All I can hope for is that he hadn't run this old steel off a bank somewhere and run over the tractor. Well, you know, bud, you remember me? Maybe a little bit. Me and your Uncle Harold used to run around a lot together. I'm yeah. Digger. OK, yeah, yeah. I ain't seen you since you was a teenager. What are you into? Well, I was going to go up here and talk to you about something that I sold your Uncle Leroy years ago. And it's a big old stainless steel pot. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I'm not really for sure if it's still here or not. I mean, I'm thinking it might be. If you want to, we'll go look. I know, Let's go look I know at pretty it. close to where it should be. We're getting off to a good start here. I guess I've got a face you can't forget, maybe. Well, I hadn't seen the kid since he was probably early 20s. His nickname's Lugnut, and that's because he likes working on old vehicles. Yeah. There's a little small mash barrel right there. Before he bought that big pot, he used to run a little pot. Yep. You know, the last time I saw it, it was a pumping that liquor out. And old Leroy, he was sitting on a milk crate beside of it, watching it catching them gallon jugs. There's some corn in there. And there's been some corn liquor running there. Boy, I tell you, he, he made a lot of money. It really helped the family out feeding them back in the day. There ain't no telling what kind of treasures is in these buildings. I just about bet there's a snake in there somewhere. Maybe there's some money in them barrels. Well, you feel free to go in there and look around. I ain't gonna fight no snake for the chance of a quarter. I remember it being here at one time. That might be where it's at. Another nice barrel and a few buckets. I'm really hoping this isn't a lost cause. I mean, fingers crossed that this pot is still around, but it's been like 20 years. Don't think it's in that. That's the smallest room I've ever seen in old sheds. Yeah. That nailed shut. Yeah. That ain't going to open for sure, is it? Well, I think I may see a pinch of it there. Yep, that's it. Just the way it was 25 years ago. It ain't changed much over the years. Oh, shoot. OK, that is enormous. Ain't she pretty? You know, I hadn't seen this still in better than 25 years. Of course, that's the beauty of stainless. It don't rust. It don't fall apart. It might get dirty, but you can clean it up. Now we got to do is come to an agreement on how much he wants for this rascal. Now, back in the day, Leroy gave me $500 for it, and I'd be willing to give that back again. Well. It's a good hire loom. I mean, it's been here for Schultz family for over 25 years. Yeah. It's not for sale. But I'll be happy to lend it to you as long as you want. Get a little liquor here and there. When you're done with it, call her back. I'll shake your hand before you change your mind. That'll work. You'll have plenty of liquor, son, I assure you. Uncle Leroy would be proud. He know this thing's far back up. I promise you, we ain't gonna disappoint him. You know, we all made a lot of liquor on this rascal back in the day, and I'm pretty stoked about firing this old girl up again. Now comes the fun part. Amanda, carry that rascal out there the truck if you don't care. I'll go let the tailgate down. Done for. Lay it in there gently. <laughs> the next thing we gotta do is get a good location nailed down for our steel side. Hopefully this steel side is as good as what my buddy says it should be. The road is a little rough. The road less traveled is the one we want to be on. 
You know, we're wanting a steel site that we can set up and use all year. We don't want to have to move out of this thing. We want to make it kind of permanent. And I got a buddy that's got an old place where he kept his hunting dogs, and he says it's pretty secure, backs right up to the forest, and there's even a roof and stuff there that we might be able to use. I believe right here is a good spot. Let's see where he brought me, Kelly. It's all kinds of junk. You know, the good thing about this being like it is, if they're doing aerial surveillance, then there's been all this crap back here forever, so they're used to it. Now, anything we put won't look out of the ordinary at this point. You're probably right. Mm, hang on. Thing's heavy, ain't it? It is heavy. We ain't carrying it through the woods. No. We got other teams to focus on. We're trying to build something big here. We so, are building something we big. We are building something big. Well, let me back this rascal up and make room for him to get in here. Because I'm facing a little bit of adversity, all that does is bring out my will to fight. We're putting teams together. We're outsourcing ingredients getting equipment, and letting these younger bucks get out of here and pump that liquor and get it out. So we basically, we're being the brains behind the operation right now. We locate stuff, we send people after it, they bring it back in, then everybody gets a share of the bounty. And at the end of the day, we're making more money. Y'all right? Yes, sir, you. Well, we're just waiting on y'all to get here, pick this up, and start making that legacy liquor. You know, guys, we cannot make this triple molded grain liquor fast enough. So that's why you guys are here. We're going to have a well-oiled machine. We're going to have other teams making other liquors, and right here is what y'all are going to concentrate on, nothing else. Well, that's an honor. You dig on right We know what is. you guys are capable of. You ain't never turned us down, and we're all going to make a damn load of money. That's the best part, ain't it? it? Is. Yeah, that's the number one part. You know, it was a no-brainer picking up Daniel and Tater. We've worked with them before, and uh, they're both top shelf liquor men. And uh, we've worked with Daniel a lot, making this triple malted grain over the years. He knows what we want. He knows what our, our skill set is, and he emulates them to a T. And there ain't very many of us that knows that recipe right there, neither. The only ones I know of standing right here. I don't mind that you fellas are knowing it. I mean, if you can't trust somebody with that, how could you trust them to do anything else? That's right. Well, guys. Let's get you loaded up. Let's All right. You okay. We'll put you some in the back of that truck. You know, Daniel and Tater, we trust them. They trust us. But, you know, we do realize that the bigger our operation gets, the more careful that we have to be. Just because we're not running liquor ourselves doesn't mean that we have a get-out-of-jail-free card.